Hello students today i will talk with you about measurement of the physics chapter okay uh, before i get start here i want to say you that i will uh, give the lecture about the measurement of the length volume time mass okay when we do measurement so we have to know a lot of thing okay i am telling you one by one first of all we have to know what is the purpose of the measurement and what physical quantity we are going to measure okay and what instrument we will use to measure the physical quantity right next comes what is the unit of that physical instrument okay that means what is the practical unit actually there are the units of the length like kilometer meter feet okay centimeter millimeter but instrument have practically assigned unit okay so what is the unit of that instrument next come what is the least count this is the most important things i will tell you in details okay least count right that means every instrument has a least count okay beyond this we cannot measure that means it is the smallest measurement that can be done with that instrument okay the next thing which you have to very well learn to about the procedure right what is the procedure of measuring that physical quantity right and after that we must know what is the precaution we have to be careful about while doing measurement right and last thing i want to say you the one important thing is that what is that it is the limitation of the instrument okay every instrument has a limitation right okay friend therefore first i will start here with least count right this is a scale normally we use the scale of 15 cm in our day to day life okay so what is the least count of this scale if i can find it then it will be more easy to understand about the least count of an instrument right so the least count of this scale is the small division which we are watching here like this one and this one right that means this is the length minimum length that can be measured accurately with this instrument with this scale okay that means the least count of this instrument is 1 mm that means below this length we cannot measure accurately with this instrument okay so the least count of this scale is 1 mm right that means the least count of an instrument can be defined as the smallest measurement that is possible with the instrument okay here in this video i will show you a measurement of length with a meter scale okay okay so a meter scale is a scale i am showing you here a meter scale is graduated into 100 division right which is in centimeter okay that means if this is the first division this one is the one that means this is 0 1 2 and 100th right now each centimeter is again subdivided into 10 equal division okay so one smallest division of a meter scale equal to 1 millimeter right 
देयर फोर द मीटर स्केल इज ए वुडन टाइप और समाइम इट इज मेड ऑफ प्लास्टिक फ्लेक्सिबल वी कैन नोटिस द फ्लेक्सिबल मीटर इन द टेलर शॉप राइट सो यू नो दिस दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन नेक्स्ट कम्स वट इज द लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ ए मीटर स्केल सो लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ ए मीटर स्केल इज वन मिलीमीटर दैट मीन्स वी कैन मेजर ए लेंथ एक्यूरेटली विथ ए मीटर स्केल अप टू वन मिलीमीटर बिलो वन मिलीमीटर वी कैन नॉट मेजर विद द मीटर स्केल सो लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ ए मीटर स्केल इज वन मिलीमीटर राइट सो नेक्स्ट कम्स द प्रोसिड्योर ओके प्रोसिड्योर हाउ वी do the measurement of a length okay to measure the length meter scale must be placed as much as close to the measuring quantity okay suppose this is a stick i want to measure so the this meter scale must be kept as close as possible and the line must be visible okay now the starting point must be match with the zero right if zero is not clear on the meter scale we have to uh, match either with the one or two right and when we get the final reading that means this point touching the meter scale point that reading okay so we will get the two reading final reading and starting reading right so we subtract the starting reading from the final one to get the accurate measurement of the stick right next what precaution are needed right what precaution are needed actually the precaution number 1 i already told you precaution which has to be taken while doing measurement of an object first precaution is that the zero marks is not clear so we need to start from one marks okay so uh, the observed value Uh, as obtains will be subtracted by this starting point okay if i have started from here then one have to be subtracted right second precaution is very important precaution i want to tell you suppose this is the scale right and we have uh, measured a stick here and suppose i think this is the mark which coincides with the object right so what we have to keep in our mind that i have to be careful while observing the touching point okay the end touching point we have to keep our eye straight we have to be careful not to keep our eye at an angle otherwise it will produce a parallax error right the observed value will not be accurate okay the third point third precaution which has to be taken care while doing measurement is that suppose you started from 1 you you didn't start from 0 and you uh, got the final final end point reading as 61 so don't forget to subtract 1 from 61 otherwise your reading will be not accurate actual reading will be 60 instead of 61 okay so here comes next what is the limitation while doing measurement with a meter scale right everything has a limitation okay we cannot do something with an instrument or with a measuring device or with a machine so that is called the limitation right now the limitation of a meter scale is that if we do any measurement and we get any value between 1 mm here right so this reading is not accurate that means below 1 mm meter scale cannot be used to get the accurate measurement i think you can use and we sometimes make a just assumption that this is the 1.2 mm like this but below 1 mm you cannot get a accurate reading with a meter scale this is the limitation of the meter scale right i have discussed about the meter scales all the things description list count procedure precaution and limitation if you have any query then comment below okay